Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Are we out of uh, staff again over here? At least if it's just the one flashing because someone went to the bathroom, it's not the end of the world. Um, in the last episode, we did a lot of work with regards to staffing, and I think our staffing levels is kind of okay. Um, maybe not perfect, but kind of okay. What I was wondering about, we don't have, uh, we need to build one of these things, I think. But anyway, uh, moving the, the fueling thing over here, I think is going to make a big difference, because at the moment we're struggling tremendously with it. So let's get a, a large fuel depot, um, and it'll need to be... Uh, how, how much is the size of the of the little tank things? Uh, so the tank things are pretty pretty um, pretty large, also. So um, I'll need to do maybe something like oh, and of course we can't get all the way to there, but this is this should work. So if we do that, okay, and then we'll get a service road. Let's just get it all sorted out first. We'll connect a service road up to there, um, and then I wouldn't would like to add the kind of tanks in there, please. The uh, no, no, not that one. The tanks. Oh, actually, we can uh, move it. Let's move it over by one to get the tanks a little closer. That would be useful. Over by no, 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 no. I want the big guy. Uh, over by one is that right? Or that. So we have a bit of a buffer in between. Yeah, that's okay. Let's do this one. And we'll get the tanks. All right, come on, tanks. Oh, uh, luckily, I did not move it over anymore. Uh, yeah, that, that should work quite well. And we'll do this. Yeah, I, th I think that is reasonable. It's only the mediums out here. Um, we'll get this guy filled up, autom disable automatic refill, no, 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 request extra fuel. Um, hopefully, we'll see this one being um, picked up straight away. Uh, when I go into here, I can give it a little bit of... Oh, oh that's okay. It's not the end of the world. That looks... Pretty reasonable, to say the least. So hopefully this will be filled up. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. It's going to get a fill up. Oh, no, it's not. Where's the yellow one? Yeah, that's the, here it is. Uh, this is not ideal. Uh, I might want to straighten that up a little bit, if I can. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Moving this thing over here, I think, is going to um, resolve a lot of our fueling issues that we're dealing with over here. Can I just dismiss that? Because we're so behind on C3. I just really need to do a bit of dismissing. Ooh, look at this. Filling these guys up is costing us enormous amounts of money. But that's okay. That is okay. Hopefully, we won't um, struggle to recover from that... Um, again, we could also link it up on this side. Uh, we could run it through there. N not necessary. But we could run it through here and link it up. I think this guy is late already. So what I'll do is I'll just immediately dismiss it. Thank you. I don't even care. Just so we can get the C3s out of the way a little bit. Yeah, there's even another one that's going to come in and uh, and be light straight away. So I'll get rid of that one as well. And then hopefully that means we are now um, ready to go back and, and this will work a little bit better. So in this episode, uh, apart from wanting to do this, let's, uh, let's kick that off again. Please leave. Um, and now our C3 should really be another. No, no, no. Let's push back. The C4 is now light. So we do need to solve a few vehicle issues, I think. But C4 should get out of the way. Yeah, we need a few vehicles. Um, so let's uh, handle a few more vehicles. So if we go to the vehicle side of things, um, just switch off all of them. If we go with baggage, there are plenty of them. And again with the staff, just the janitors. The janitors are okay. We can add them every now and again. 
Um, so let's get a few more of these things. And I'm kind of tempted to actually assign a couple to this as well. So let's let's get a few more baggage baggage vehicles. Um, I'm going to go with the one with the roof there, that one. So let's get at least four of them. We'll order four of them over there. Uh, okay, and once they say that they're here, which they should be, I would like to go ahead and assign them to uh, some of these areas. So if I, I just want to assign them one, one to each one of these. At least the big guys um, each need their assigned um, spot. So hopefully that will solve things and make us a little bit more effective at some of these things. So C1 is running a little bit late, struggling to get everything on board. The fueling is a massive issue, isn't it? Even this is a problem. Ah, so that was the issue. We were kind of running out of fuel. Can we extend this even more? No. That's about as big as it's going to go. We could potentially squeeze another one in there, but I think that's going to be as big as it's going to go. Um, so this is... Depot is not awaiting incoming resupply. Resupply at 10%. Resupply at 30%. Your level is at 40% at the moment. So we shouldn't have any issues with it. So now it is a uh, resupply is on the way. And we should be able to get our our things resupplied a little quicker. Uh, what we could have done is ooh, what is this? Oh, something broke inside the terminal, a plumbing failure. That's okay, our guy should sort that out. Apart from the fact that it slows us down, well, slows the game speed down. This guy should be out of the way. Yeah, that boarding is closed. Um, that's just finalizing things. It's looking a little better over here now. It's looking a little better. That's late now. It really takes a hell of a long time to get that done. What is happening with our um, our fuel vehicles? So let's close that off. Have a look at our fuel vehicles. The Mavericks. Is it the Mavericks that we bought or which ones did we buy? Is this the Fjord or the Maverick? It's the Fjord one. My goodness, I shouldn't have done that. The Mavericks is much better. Can't believe I ended up messing around with it like that. So these are the Fjords, right? And they are much slower. If we go over here and we pop in and we'll have a look. So the Fjord is cheaper. Uh, it's slow and ineffective, but cheap to operate fuel tank included. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and ah, sell them all. Sell, 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 sell. Some of them might have been, um, might have, I think one of them or might have been the Maverick, but get me, get me the Mavericks. Much faster than this predecessor. So let's grab that one. Let's just fix that. All and all, we need to fix that. Now, when we're coming in here, probably don't need that. Uh, well, let's do... I don't quite know why the assignments are so poor here, but anyway, maybe it's just because because here I actually have to. Oh, I did change things right in terms of getting people manually assigned. Let's do that. See how that goes as a starting point. I just just drop the terminal thing. Now this guy should be really quick at refueling it. Much quicker. I'm hopeful we will um, resolve our delays a little bit. There's more vehicle stuff that we need to do. 
in terms of getting things done. What is this? It's another C1 that is light, again due to fueling, but other things as well. Yeah, that one is actually tracking pretty decent for time. This should be okay. You should be able to make a go for it. Yeah, that's okay. You've got everything you needed. Yeah, you're waiting on people and that last one needs to be loaded up. That's okay. You're waiting on... Oh, actually, people are on board. It's catering. Now, let's, uh, let's get a few more vehicles around the catering side of things. So let's get a bit of fuel for a minute. Forget about the transit, let's do the plane stuff. Um, uh, actually, how many how many of these things do we have? Where is my list? Why can't it just be a list? Right, why can't it just be a list? But anyway, it seems like we have cabin cleaning trucks and then catering trucks seven. Seven, seven. But let's at least add three of each, I think. Let's go here and add three catering trucks and three cabin cleaning trucks. And then hopefully that does the trick for us. Getting things working a little bit better. Um, obviously that's a bit of a drive and so I do wonder about a little tunnel um, through here. But let's quickly have another look at the terminal setup. I do hate, I, don't, I, I think I'm almost tempted to remove the terminal component completely because just let everything, everybody work everywhere. And I think that's what I'm going to do. The terminal thing is, uh, is, uh, is really um, a bit frustrating. So let's, uh, let's play without terminals. Why can't I? How do I delete the terminals? Enables. Works within terminals. I can't delete a terminal. I have to be able to delete a terminal, right? Oh, I'm taking stuff out of the terminals now. <sighs> Not good. Okay, if it's uh, this one. Yeah, there we go. Get it. Clear it off. No more terminals. No more terminals, please. Just remove the terminal completely. Thank you. No more terminals. I want to do. I want nothing to do with terminals, or it should just all be one big terminal. If I do this, will it all stop working? No, all working again. Nothing's in terminals. Everybody can work everywhere. Um, I know the distances to be travelled is probably a problematic, but now at least we should not have staffing issues not have um, vehicle issues, things like that, should be all good. Um, something broke, that's okay, let's speed things up again, okay. Now, in the last little bit of time, uh, oh, actually no, we've, we've only been playing a little bit. But I think this is all good, this is being resupplied, that's all good. Um, this guy's closed at the moment, these guys probably uh, will need to re redo something here, maybe just the power one. Okay, I've got the wrong, the wrong thing there. But anyway, that should be all good now. Money is uh, is re recovering. This area is fairly limitedly, limitedly used. Now, I wanted to do a few more um, bits and pieces. Now, the, the easiest way is for us to have these things completely square and actually use this area here as a bit of a bathroom setup and what we'll do is we'll do bathroom access to both sides so what i'll i'll grab a little bit of this it's going to be some basic bathroom setups here these will both be bathrooms accessible from the lounges on both sides that will be a lounge there, and we'll have a lounge on the other side. So give me a lounge over here. And a lounge on the other side. What's the kind of size that I'm looking at here? Something like that should probably be okay. 
Yeah, that's okay. Let's do that. We'll get a bit of a wall going up here and we will provide a bit of a doorway as well. There we go. So now we've got a couple of extra lounges. Now, can I? Well, I'll probably have to do my own, um, my own style bathrooms in here. I think that's about a pretty reasonable setup. And what we'll do is we'll squeeze in one urinal on that side. Give me a bit of a walled, little walled section right there little wall section over there and we'll put some other stuff in here too wow it's actually pretty tight that's not great is it in terms of what we're able to achieve here and let's put some hand dryers the hand dryers can go in, the, in that little spot there. That's okay. No problem. Not much that we can do in the back there without like really clogging it up. So that's kind of what it's going to have to be. Um, now let's get some flooring going. Uh, it's, this is the flooring that I'm going to do there. There we go. This is going to be the uh, female and that's the male one. And we'll open that up and we'll open that up. That's no problem. Okay, now we need to do the lounges. Now, can I do a nice copy paste lounge setup? Probably. I probably can do uh, this lounge setup right over here. So let's do, let's grab ourselves the copying tool. We'll do that. And squeeze it in like so. That's okay. Uh, yeah, flipping it around wouldn't have helped. That that actually works pretty well. Uh, <clears throat> we'll set it up slightly differently so it looks a little bit different. Uh, we would like the uh, medium access point right over there. Um, Like so, that should do uh, quite nicely. Uh, this is a little awkward here. What we can do is certainly provide a little bit more of this style stuff here. There we go. I think that's actually pretty good. And we'll just get some additional seating down there. Something like that, and that can be a standing side or something. Okay, so that's the one. Um, we could certainly do, let's do a very similar thing on the other side. So let's just, uh, actually, let's do, just that little section there. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it to pop it in like so, that's good. And then we'll grab this section through here. We'll do that. It's a little awkward, I think. Um, we certainly need to grab one more of these things. Something like that, probably okay. Yeah, that's, that's all good. Um, I would want to maybe move this, so let's just do that. Grab a bit of a copy here and just move it in a little closer over there. There we go. Something like that could work. Ah, oh, you know what? We've got more room here. So we could actually do the opposite side of the thing as well. So it just looks a little bit different. Now, the only other thing is um, I would like to make sure that we've got um, some nice flooring in here. So let's grab ourselves... Um, maybe a little something like, like that. Do these two, um, quite similar. And then we will, uh, do what, I, I like the tiles more so than some of the others, but maybe we can do, um, one of them as, as this stuff. Here we go something like that should work we'll need a bit of a window or just the one really 
yeah something like that should do the trick and this one will be nice and central over there good stuff excellent so that's good now what kind of other airlines do we have actually running through here this one is which is which is this one forest forest air where do i read it yeah forest air so let's give forest air at a lounge there we go forest air and thank you you're open for business we will need some additional stuff here um, and we'll need some flooring on this side of the spectrum. Oh, that's all good. Uh, maybe this one will do a bit of kind of greyish style carpets instead. Go up to about there. It's a little dark for my liking. But not the end of the world. I, kind of, I'm not, I don't mind it too much. What are, what's the next plane that's coming in over here now that we've got forest? Oh, security coming to use the bathroom. Is this the closest bathroom that they've got? Okay, well, that is an interesting concept because we can certainly squeeze a little staff bathroom in here. And where? Hmm, we don't have access to a bathroom on that side, but we can certainly squeeze a staff bathroom on this side. Um, any other planes coming in here? I think that I can see. Now, things are looking pretty good. We're over the 5 million mark now. And I think we don't, we're don't. we not seeing as many delays. So I think we've kind of resolved it both on the staffing side of things, but also potentially on the uh, vehicle side of things. So let's, um, let's, what we can do is we can get a Forest Air logo um, right over there. Yeah, I like that. That's not bad. What's the next one coming in on this side? That's an allure. This is a forest. Is there anything else that can pop in here? Oh, those are pretty similarly. Similar. Samey, samey. Um, okay, so don't, don't worry about that just yet. So we've got a C4 that's slightly delayed. Passengers in security. Um, apparently no passengers. I don't know. And it's getting refilled. It's like two minutes, two hours late. Two minutes late. Two hours late probably. But now it's refueled. Now it really needs to do the pushback. So it's still, it's still not sure we're we're getting at a hundred percent here. What's the next plane that's going to park here? I want to know who's parking up over here. I can. There's obviously other ways I can have a look at it. Now, um, bathrooms. I'm thinking maybe that section there as a bit of a bathroom. Let's see what we can do here. Um. Actually, running, running through a bit of wall here is not going to be wide enough unless we move this door. Okay, move it, move the door, move, move it, move it. Um, let's clear that out and we'll put the door over there. We'll um, close up the wall here and we'll do this. Um, and then I'm going to do a, a staff bathroom over here. That's all good. Um, it needs some secure, needs to be in the secure zone though, right? Yeah, that's in the secure zone. Um, this is going to be staff only. Okay, all, all good. And we'll do a bathroom in there and we'll get two, three, four, something like this, and we'll do do a bit of a hand dryer setup um, over there, and this is going to be a bathroom for everybody, but it's going to be staff only. We'll do that, and let me just change the tiles in here. Now that I think about it, probably need to run. Oh, look at these guys. They've been waiting for a little bathroom around here for a fair bit of time, it seems. There we go. That is looking pretty good. So now they've got their own little bathroom over here. That's going to help things out a little bit. I'm going to do a very similar thing on the other side. Auto saving is causing a bit of lag. What is this? This is a coast to coast uh, setup. So let's get a coast to coast. Um, set up in here. Thank you very much. Give me a coast to coast uh, little signage right there. Thank you very much. This is the coast to coast lounge. 
I don't mind doubling up on lounges. I may have one already, so I don't I don't really mind it. Uh, now let's just get a bathroom over here to try and further optimize our arrangement. On this side, I'm actually going to do a dual bathroom setup. Where's the closest? There's a bathroom over there for people, and on the on this side there is a bathroom. Well, actually, there's not a nice bathroom close by, but. What is that? That is a railway signal failure. So now we're not going to have um, rail access, but that's okay. Um, we should still be able to solve it. Um, let's just speed things uh, up a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's one of the things I wish. Is there a setting? I kind of wonder if there's a setting for it. If I do that and that, a couple of doors in here, there and uh, not there. Remove that. Give me a give me a wall. Um, okay, so those are the two bathrooms. Let's quickly build them out, and then we'll get the flooring in place. So again, with these, I'll just do this and that plus a urinal. And what I'll do is I'll do one on the one side and and dryer on the other side, and this will be a. Uh, a male staff bathroom, open it up, and this will be a female staff uh, bathroom opened up, and I do need to just do the flooring in there. There we go, and there we go, so now at least they should be easy to deal with, and what we'll do is we'll add that back in there, and add back in there. It really is easy to make it look uh, kind of nice here. At least now there's bathrooms available and these guys can uh, do their bathroom thing. Uh, why is that? Oh, we've missed the contract. So let's uh, let's reissue a contract over here. Swift Veg will be the one for us. I need to change that then. Uh, but there we go. So now we've added a couple more things over here. Still more room for us to do things over there. We've got a bathroom on this side. So hopefully the guys are doing their thing. I can probably put a staff bathroom in here somewhere. Um... We'll have to deal with that, I think, as we find it. So just uh, a few nice little bits and pieces to try and make things a little bit nicer. Let's have a quick look at our rating. So we're actually up uh, actively at a 92% rating, which is not bad, not bad at all. I am really hopeful that we can get up to about the 95% mark if we've got a lot of the, uh, the normal stuff sorted out. Lots of people coming out of here. Um... Is taking a little bit of time to get people through there, but it's it's working. A little bit of a queue there isn't the end of the world coming out over here doing your thing. Um, I do need to put something else in here. There's something small and minor we can put in there. A travel shop maybe. Uh, just something that will actually make some sales in the duty-free section of things. Have we seen the CEO arrive? Uh, now that the terminal is is all sorted, the CEO should actually be able to find... Um, their office. No, no one here. There's someone there, someone there. Oh, someone's over here. Someone's over there. So they've generally been able to find their offices, but I haven't seen the CEO. Do wonder if I have a quick look. Let's try and find the CEO quickly. Um, so staff. Um, that's Captain Chaos. It's me. Um, executives. Oh, we can actually train an executive? Well then, let's do that. See, I don't think I actually feature here. Oh, that's max trained. Do wonder if I should uh, get someone new in place. Look at that staff happiness. Oh, loving it, loving it. I kind of wonder if I should fire our CFO and, and bring someone new in. Does that actually make a difference? Do I get something from a good CFO? Education, yeah, that's okay. Okay, what does this say? Uh, an employee skill determines how well performed the job. The better the skill, the faster and more qualitative the work perform job tasks. The higher the skill an employee has, the higher their salary claim usually is. So does it? Does that? Does that do it? Does that anything? I don't. I have no idea. I don't. Don't. Don't know what difference. Nineteen ninety eight. H twenty two is our CFO. <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's a little awkward. H twenty three. 
We've got a very young, oh, oh, here we go. There's a 63 year old. Interesting. So I don't know where I am. This is you, the CEO has ultimate responsibility. What does this say? Hire executives. I go, yeah, I understand that. Uh, ooh, what does the see for? Unlocks ability to set airport fees, reduce corporate tax by 25, enables economy board, lowers fines costs. Well, that's okay. Still don't know where I am. Can I, can I find myself anywhere? Oh. What does that mean? Opens the CEO panel where you can review CEO statistics. I've never actually, what? Where you can review statistics of your CEO and airport. So I'm 65, I'm an Australian, and I live in Perth. And this is just airport stuff, so it's really, but where am I? If I wanted to find myself, right? Where would I find it? I have no idea. Anyway, we will leave it there. Had a bit of fun with our with our stuff. Um, this guy needs a new, let's just get, um, let's just get ZT's Italian kitchen. I'm not sure, what? What can we do here? Kappa, let's sign Kappa. See if that does anything, but uh, we, don't, we don't have the staff now, or the, the passenger volumes to make that work just yet. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.